Let me ask you this. In the Bible, I'm going to straight to the point. Where we are allowed to marry the other nations? Allowed to, allow to marry the other, other nations. nations. Yes. Yeah. We were? Oh, did we break the commandment when we were married to other nations? What was the commandment? So he said, we're in pants with an abomination, right? It's different. Get that in. So it, well, we're going to show you that the most high hate, hate that thing. Like you're wearing clothes that you shouldn't wear. You're wearing what a man wears. Oh no, Kansas, that's different. Make sense? Right? So, you know, you even heard that something called women's panties. There's no such thing as women's panties. That's right. right. No. Right? Read that. The book of Sirach, chapter 15, verse 13. Bring it out. The Lord hateth all abomination. The Lord what? The Lord hateth all abomination. Read. And they that fear God love it not. That's it. That's it. So they said, they that fear God love it not. So that means that you have to change from pants to what? To dress or skirt, right? Modesty. You know what it means to be modest? What is modesty? You don't know what modesty is? Good, that's good, you're true. That's right. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 9. Right on. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. To adorn yourself in modest apparel, what does that mean? To adorn. It was, it was, it was, it was put on, right? Read. Adorn themselves in modest apparel. Is pants modest? Not modest, right? So, again, right, it's not what you're supposed to wear. That's for us men, right? So, we're going to show you how men, how God gave pants to men, right? So most people don't know how, because they think everybody do what they want to do, how they want to. That's right. But the most high, in the Bible, he shows us how he gave pants to man. Because we came out of Egypt, right? Read that. The book of Exodus, chapter 28, verse 42. Bring it out. And thou shalt make them linen breeches. Down south, we call them what? Breeches, right? Read. And thou shalt make them linen breeches to cover their nakedness. To cover their nakedness, because he didn't want to see what they had. They came out of Egypt, right? Read. From the loins, even unto the thighs, they shall reach. So from their waist all the way down to their knees, those were considered pants, right? So those were made for men, not women. That's uh, right. Not women. Wait, so where, you wearing what the man's wear, what the man wears, put you in um, trouble with the most high. Right? You don't want to be in trouble with the most high, right? So, uh, the book of Zephaniah, chapter 1, verse 8. Bring it out. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice. In the day of the Lord's sacrifice. What is that? The day of the Lord's sacrifice is when he comes back. Read. That I will punish the princes and the king's children. So he said he will punish the princes and the king's children. Who is that? The princes and the king's children are who? Us. That's us standing out here, right? Oh, that's right. Read. And all such as are clothed with strange apparel. Well, that's strange apparel to the most high that you have on. Like, if I, I'm a big, burly man, and you saw me walking down the street with some heels and a dress on, what would you think? What would you think? Don't you see that going on today? That men wearing dresses, but they, they, they reversing the roles, which is called cross-dressing. So the Bible's telling us not to cross-dress. Right? This is just for your knowledge so that when you go home and talk to your children and say, hey, never, we're not wearing pants anymore. I have to get you dresses and skirts, right? Understand? That's it? Yes, sir. Okay, so what, now that you know who you are, you're from the tribe of Ephraim, right? You're from the tribe of Judah, right? Now, what's required of you now that you know who you are? You're supposed to wear dresses. Yeah, as, as an Israelite, we, we got to know what's required of us now that we know who we are. Right. Chapter 10, verse 12. Bring it on. And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways. So we got to walk in the ways of the Most High. So what we're teaching you is how to come back to the, to the Most High. And to love him. And to love him. And to, Hold on. Read. And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart. We have to serve him wholeheartedly. And with all thy soul. With all our soul. 
to keep the commandments of the Lord. To do what? To keep the commandments of the Lord. So all these brothers you see up here, we're commandment keepers. We keep the commandments. Right, right. We come out here showing our people to, to bring them back to do the same thing. Read. And his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. So what he's saying is, come back to me. Do what I'm telling you to do. That's right. You know what? You know why? We can't delay on this, right? We can't say, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. Tomorrow ain't promised to us, right? That's right? right. So he said, I made haste. We got to make haste. That means we got to do it quickly. Hey, brother, what's your name? Dwayne. Dwayne, how you doing? Near Mike. Near Mike. So this is your wife? That's correct. Okay, I'm gonna, give me one second. I'm going to talk to you. Read that. The book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 59. Bring it out. I thought on my ways and turned my feet Unto thy testimony. So he's on his way and he came back to the commandments. Read. I made haste. He made haste. He didn't delay. He didn't waste no time. I and delayed right. not to keep thy commandments. To do what? To keep thy commandments. That's what we're teaching you to keep the commandments. Come back to the most high. Simple things, right? He, he talked to you. He talked about the fringes. Gotcha. So he showed you one simple law that you can teach today. One law we taught you today was change your apparel, right? To be modest in approach, right? Right? So we're telling you the same thing, brother. I'm going to ask you, ask you to do something for me. When the word of Most High is coming out, we ask that the man remove the hat. That's right. All right. Thank you, brother. Appreciate that. All right. So what we're going to read is Numbers 15, verse 38. To you. Bring it out. Read. Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Bring it out. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. Said, and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. You look at this brother's shirt. These are fringes in the border of his garment. Read. Throughout their generation. Throughout their generation. What does, what's the key word in generation? Beginning. Huh? Beginning. No, the key word. What's the root word of generation? Gene. Gene. Gene, right? Read. Throughout their generation. Throughout their generation. That means we generate as people, right? We generate as the Israelites. This is all for the right. Israelites. Read. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. And put upon those fringes a ribbon, a border of blue. Read. And it shall be unto you for a friend. And it should be upon us for a friend. Read. That ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments so, of the Lord. You may look upon it and remember the commandments. I can't wear pants. I can't shave my head. I shouldn't be uh, uh, wearing my hat when the word's coming out. Read. And remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. And what? And do them. So that's an action word. To do is an action word, right? So when I asked you to take your hat off, you had to do something, right? Right, so you said this is your wife? Right? Um, What's, what's your nationality for African-American. African-American. So you see, that's you right here, right? Judah, brother. Yeah. Right? Okay, so let me ask you this. In the Bible, I'm, I'm straight to the point. Where are we allowed to marry the other nations? We're allowed to marry the other nations. Yeah. Yeah. We were? Oh, did we break the commandment when we married the other nations? What was the commandment? The commandment was, I'm going to read it to you. I ain't going to say it. I'm going to read it. I'm going to let the Bible read it. Bring it up. Uh, Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 3. Bring it out. Neither shall thou make marriages with them. Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son, nor his daughter shall thou take unto thy son. For they will turn away thy son from following me. He's saying, he's talking to the Israelites. He's talking to us because we had married the other nations. Right? That's right. We were married the other nations. Like, you know what or not? Oh, okay, you got the Japanese, you got Chinese, you got Arab, so on and so forth. Those are the other nations. We were a nation of, by ourselves, right? Yeah. So you see these 12 tribes right here? That's a nation. Those are nations, right? Correct. You see, you, you said you come from the tribe of Judah. That's a that's an, uh, a heritage by itself yeah. that all the other tribes are going to follow, right? So what I'm telling you, uh, okay, what I'm showing you is that we are not allowed to go outside our, we should marry, um, we should marry within our own, uh, within our own people. That's right. That. That's the right. book of Nehemiah, chapter 13, verse 23. Bring it out. In those days also saw I Jews that had married wives of Ashdod, Ashdod. of Ammon, Ammon. and of Moab. Hold on. 
That's not Ammon and Moab, right? Yeah. So those are other nations that we were not uh, wasn't supposed to marry. Read. And their children spake half in the speech of Ashdod and could not speak in the Jews' language. So they spoke half in the language that of the other nation that half of Jews, right? So they weren't speaking the, the language that they were supposed to speak. Because the, in the verse we read before, it said it would turn us from our God. That's right. why they were speaking the other language. Read. That's right. But according to the language of each people, and I contended with them. So he came to them and said what? And cursed them. And cursed them. And what? And smote certain of them. And he slapped most of them, right? Read. And plucked off their hair. So it's showing them that they're in, they're in the wrong. He was, he was mad because they turned against God. Read. And made them swear by God, saying, Ye shall not give your daughters unto their sons. So we, shouldn't, we can't give our daughters unto the other nations. Nor right. take their daughters unto your sons. And bring their daughters to us. Or for yourself. Or for myself. Read. Did not Solomon, king of Israel, sin by these things? Did he not what? Sin by these things. So that's a sin to be with the other nations. Brother. But what we're telling you uh, is that you have to come out of that, right? Because we just, we're standing here showing our people who they are according to the Bible. Bible. No. So we are people by ourselves. Earth, right. We're not a people that has to have someone else or need anyone else. That's what the world taught us, talk right? You know why you don't know this? No, that's you know why we don't know this? Why we don't know that we shouldn't be with the other nation? Do you know why? We don't read our Bible. Exactly. You took the word right out of our We don't do what? Because we don't read our Bible. Read Earth, that. Right. The book of Malachi, chapter 2, verse 7. Bring it out. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. So the people that's teaching you that you can go and teach, be with other nations, what? For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. He should have gave that knowledge of not being with the other nations. Read. And they should seek the law at his mouth. They should seek the law at his mouth, which is the Bible. Read. For he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. He's supposed to be the messenger of the Most High. Is that it? Yes, sir. Okay, so what we're showing you is that you've been taught wrong. What we're showing you is that you have to come out of the state that you're in, right? And come back to these laws and commandments. So that means that there's a separation, right? You have to separate. Okay, if you're stealing, Right? And you get caught, what happens? You go to jail. You go to jail. But if you if you don't steal, what happens? You're, you're abiding by what? When you don't steal, what? You're abiding by the law. You're abiding by the law. That's a law, right? That's a man-made law and a biblical law, right? Right. So to be with something, to do something that you shouldn't do, knowing that you well, you didn't know, but now you know. So you got something to do, right? Yeah. You gotta you gotta make it right, right? You willing to do that? But not this very long. Not, the, no, it's going to take you some time, right? Yeah, yeah. But you know what the Bible says, right? The Bible says so. Uh, the Bible says for you to not be with the other nation. Right? We've all made mistakes, right? But it's time for you to repent. Right? Right? You do. The one reason we do stuff like that, we are told that it's okay to be, do what you do, do what you want to do and how you want to. How you want it. The Bible doesn't say that. That's right. But we just read two scriptures to you that tells you not to be with the other nations, right? Correct. But, you, but didn't you go through the uh, Old Testament instead of the New Testament? Old Testament versus New Testament. So when you're reading the uh, New Covenant, what are you reading? Uh, you know, the reference of the Old Testament. No. Well, you get the New Testament from? From the Old Testament. You get the so, New Testament from the Old But you just told me. I read to you out of the Old Testament. I don't understand that. But so, but, but no, no, no. I'm going to explain to you what you just said. You yeah. just told me. That you said, I'm reading out of the Old Testament. I said, That's so right. when they were reading the New Testament, what were they reading? You said the Old Testament. Yeah. So now you're trying to justify what you just said no. with something to try to make me think that you didn't say that. No. That's but right. what you just said, listen, brother, I'm just trying, I'm trying to help you. The New Testament wouldn't exist without the Old Testament. That's, That's right. Simple as That's right. That wouldn't exist. That's correct. So we have to go back there. Because the Bible tells you, read that. The book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 7. Bring it up. Then said I, lo. I come in the volume of the book. Did you hear that, brother? Volume of the book. It says, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. Who comes in the volume of the book? Christ. Right. So that means from Genesis to Revelation. So you said I was just reading out of the New Testament. Not the Old Testament. 
Well, out of the Old Testament. Yeah. But I'm actually reading out of both books. That's right. Because right? I don't get one without the other one. That's right. I, 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 I ain't not hear you read anything from one of the New Testament. I, I just read it. I just read it. Oh, okay. Hebrews? Okay. Yeah, Hebrews chapter 7. Okay. Right? So, my point to you is this. There's things that you have to do to get right with the most high. Yeah, it might take you a little time, but make haste, brother. You can't, because you know what? When he comes back, he's coming back to kill and to destroy. He ain't coming back giving you a lollipop and some in a, in a flower. That's right. right. That was saying, that wasn't right. No, no, bro. He says, when I when I return, what he's going to, get the part when he returns. Read that, read that. Listen, listen. Read. Verse 17. Verse 17. Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord. So he said, come from out from among them, and be ye separate. That means you have to separate from what? You got to separate, you know. you separate from what? Israelites in the world. So you got to separate from the world, right? So you're married to another someone from of another nation, right? Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org